depressing, but the forest fire is like really, really annoying. Obviously, it's best that it's not by my house, but it's still obnoxious that, you know, trying to stream and cast and I got a freaking forest fire blazing outside my house. But regardless, early attack going in here, they, they, they sack the smoker and hunter, so that's interesting. So we'll see uh, Team Exception taking the first hit, only uh, receiving... Uh, actually, they didn't get scratch. I thought I heard a scratch going out. But they're going to go ahead and hold the spitter and Boomer. Boomer dropping down the inside of the building. Death line, a single boom out of Rochelle. And this tank's not going to let the stars actually put, push out into the opening. He's going to try and cut them off and push them back inside the building, which is a very smart move by him. Nick is going to make his way outside the building, but that's one separated. Jockey lands onto him, so now that's, that's, a cap, that's a cap survivor way separated from the survivors. And it's going to be an instant corner onto Ellis here inside the building. That horde is still going out of Rochelle. Beautifully played here by Team Talk Talk Talk. The end cap and the hunter actually intercepting on a coach outside. I didn't even notice that one. And it's going to be another punch down to coach. One more will secure the end cap. That's another end cap. <laughs> and Nick just going ham. Uh, tank helping out with the end cap on him. A punch onto his shell. And that's going to be another sick wipe there by Team Talk Talk Talk. Literally perfectly played. There's not much else that you can say. Spitter through the spit down in front or, or on the outside of the door to actually stop things from. Uh, or any sort of some pushing outside. Boomer dropping down on the inside, booming onto a shell, and then tank just pushing right in. That was a good uh, intercept by the hunter as well. I didn't even notice that one though. Is Super actually uh, number one? <laughs> Super is number one. Yeah, but beautifully played tank there by a talk talk hawk. Really, really well thought out uh, sack order. They got everything that they wanted. They kept the spitter and the boomer, obviously. And uh, Team Exception just wasn't able to shut down the boom before it actually got down on the floor and was able to uh, unleash the horde onto them. But All right. very Everybody well played by them yet again. I that's that's a tactic that I really like twice. doing is um, pretty much holding two game. SI or a boomer at the very least and a spit for the... Uh, you know, those early tanks, because it really uh, limits where these stars can actually play that tank. Um, if you spit down on the floor in front of the door, pretty much it's either the stars push out past it, which will end up with them all taking around like 20, 25 damage or so. Or uh, you have to pretty much just stay back by the car, by the safe room. And it, it, that's obviously not somewhere you want to take the tank by any means. Um, for those of you guys actually still in the chat, though, that are watching, um, be sure to type or tell everyone to refresh the page, because uh, if they don't, it's not going to probably show the stream because I restarted it so but anyway um, stream looks good for now let's hope it stays this way and doesn't go back to uh, bad yeah it's the easiest way of saying it let me take a drink while these guys are uh, readying up My heart goes out to Team Exception. Well, you have to also understand they're playing on a way server. And uh, Team Talk 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 has been renowned as a very, very skilled team um, by multiple players, even from the NA and EU scene. Um, a lot of uh, the teams and players have been saying how good this team actually are. And, you know, obviously it's uh, holding true here to say at least. They've literally just, like man moded and pick the correct strat each time to completely nullify team exception in their survivor rounds. And then when you see Team Tak Tak actually playing on their survivor side, um, you see how well they rotate in and out of spawn blocking, um, how well they actually shut down attacks when they do come in. Their focus fire is there and uh, they're they're just on the same page. Like when just to throw out a really random uh example out there when that smoke went out onto nick on the first hit of last map for team talk 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 when that smoker landed onto nick nobody looked at nick to clear him not a single person unless there's a charger going for him then i would assume they would look at the charger but nobody looked at that smoker they literally looked at all three other spawns and shut them down first and that that's an extremely heads up play to understand that hey, if we just leave a smoker B, then we can focus on everything else that will more likely be more of a nuisance than that smoke survivor um, is currently experiencing. But regardless, you're going live with the third map, Team Tak 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 on your survivor half, Team Exception over on the SI, and we will have them pushing out of the save from here. Obviously, the score is a little bit lopsided, so at least as of right now. 
Um, maybe Exception can make some sort of a dent here in this going into the second map if they decide to play it. If, if this ends up with a 5k score, I would not um, be surprised if they decide to just GG it. But regardless, Smoker going in, in Charger looking for a charge here, but he's a little late for the party to get mowed down there, sliced down by the Katana of Nick, and tank up in the hands of a Nashion for Team uh, Exception. So let's see what uh, let's see what happens here. Tank gonna sit back right now, throw a few rocks out onto Sarvis, trying to make something land, but nothing happening as of just yet. And we'll see the tank trying to hop up in the bush, not finding it just yet though. Uh, team Tuck to Tuck playing it very smartly though, LOSing the tank to the best of their abilities. And he is losing some rage here, slowly but surely, down to 55%. Uh, Alice getting some good chip though, dropping him around to 200 right there from that clip of Uzi. But yeah, this is one of those situations where you want to see the SI try and get some good hits. Boomer rocket in. Rochelle popping the Boomer as it rocket in. Nice rock, though. Beautiful rock there by M4. Not not by M4, but by Nashion on to M4 to refill his rage. Rochelle going to go and make her way over to the side of the building here. And they're going to actually leave Ellis in the front of the building to block that roof spawn. Um, the little roof coming, or the little slant on the roof coming down towards the gas station. But he does know that someone is over there. They're going to start actually back out now and uh, start blocking the spawns again. They know the spawns are back up. And it's going to be a Boomer Charger and a Smoker. So this could be pretty devastating. If that Boomer can land or this charge and get a charge into the uh, cornfield, it would be pretty bad. Nice triple boom going out. Rock not connecting, though. And this tank looks like it wants to try and get a better angle. You're going to go and toss the rock at the survivors. Uh, Imagine to connect on their coach there. So really well played thus far by Nashion. Another tech, or another rock uh, winding up there, not going to find anything, hits the gas bumps. And that's going to cause the three stars to back out over into the alleyway here. This tank looks like it wants to reposition onto the roof, which is not a bad play at all. Um, in fact, you can get some really good, nice uh, overhead rocks down onto those towers from here. But I think since he's running, they're going to know that he's up there. Indeed, they do. They're going to go ahead and head back towards the gas station now and make him cross. He does take another 200 chip from that cross. But let's see what else can happen. Uh, another rock going out onto Nick. Not going to find anything, though. The SIR done now, and he is stuck in the middle of the field all alone. Charger whiffing completely. And that will be the end of that attack. Charger does take, or not Charger, but Tank takes quite a bit of chip as well. Um, I think that was something like 1,400 damage. So, quite a nasty build there. Tank gonna go ahead and commit now, trying to toss a rock there to hitbox Ellis, not gonna find it though. Tank makes his way over to Ellis though, hits him onto the cashier register, and he's gonna start getting melee in the back by the Katana of Rochelle. Charger does land on one survivor, and now Ellis runs back in the tank's face, going ham with the Katana. Rochelle actually... <laughs> what just happened? The survivors literally didn't care about the SI hit. They, <laughs> they have to be low on ammo, but I mean, regardless, they literally just ran up to the tank and started meleeing the crap out of him. Um, both survivors, uh, Rochelle and Ellis with the katana. Once again, just good, just going absolutely ham. That was that was really weird. <laughs> I I mean, it, we've seen it happen before, but just the way that it was carried out was funny. But anyway, Nashian coming in here with a charger, not connecting though. All the survivors staying close together, moving in the same direction, and the charger just couldn't predict where they were actually going to move. Uh, Hunter just got a single scratch out onto Nick though before he can make his way into the elevator And now they will go ahead and make their way inside of it finally and they will go ahead and ascend to the uh, Next floor Hunter looking for a scratcher on the star. not gonna find anything though it does take a bit of chip though down to 152 HP and We'll see the next SI attack gearing up here. It's going to be a charger hunter spitter and a smoke An nope, old jockey close enough Nick immediately pushing his, his way out. Uh, all the stars following suit. Charger gets railed down there. Hunter makes his way in. Gonna go ahead and land on the coach. Uh, spit goes down in front of Nick. And actually, no, the spit got M2'd. So Nick shutting down that spitter as hard as you can possibly shut down the spitter. And the survivors are gonna go ahead and make their way out uh, into the camper. And uh, we're not in camper. It's more like a trailer? Well, it's the same thing, I guess, camper trailer. But whatever. That, that is a makeshift building there. They're going to go ahead and uh, pick up new guns. And there's two sets of pills left on Team Attack 3. It's going to be on Kuma and M4. Kuma is literally at 40 HP, so one more tick damage from anything or a single FF. Uh, 
free, pretty much a free spit could even do it, but he'll be knocked down to the yellow range before to pop a set of pills if it's safe fast. Boomer going in, not finding anything. Smoker <laughs> pretty much just uh, levitating, pulling, and uh, lev or doing a levitating pull onto Nick. And that will be the entire attack over and done with yet again. M4 is going to be forced to pop a set of pills here, though, as he is bleeding out and he's about to drop below 40. There's nothing he can really do to stop that bleed out either. So he's going to be forced to pop a set of pills here right now. Something like now. Please, M4, pop. Don't make me a liar, M4. Please, M4. Wait, now he's slow. Okay, okay, I, I read that wrong. My bad. I was, I was looking at the wrong uh, line. I'm gonna I'm gonna blame the map. It's dark. Yeah. But regardless, Smoker does get picked up by Coach. Coach ran all the way back just to kill it off. There is a witch up in play as well. Let's go find her. Uh, oh, she's actually up on top by the spitter there. So this sh they should draw it. She might get a uh, glitch shot though. I've seen it happen before here with this witch. For some, whatever reason, she'll just stand up and spaz out. So. We'll see if that ends up uh, actually happening. How many shotguns do they have? They have one on Nick, one Ellis, one at Rochelle. Looks like Rochelle will be the target for this stuff. She does have a lot of damage bonus, so that could be a bad move. Nice double cap landing there. Smoker is well getting shot down. They have to land this shot, and actually she hits Nick instead of Rochelle. Um, not too sure what that was, but Caesar taking a lot of damage from that. But yeah, she just uh, she just ran up and uh, slapped Nick across the face for some reason. Even though Rochelle was the one that shot her, but regardless, here the pills will be passed around, give it, being given over to M4, and it looks like he's actually going to pop them over to Alice, who's going ahead and popping them right away. And Coach, what? Um. Kuma? Thanks. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, after the pickup item to coach, they're gonna continue way through the map here. I I have no idea what just happened there. Um. Yeah, that, that was interesting. So Coach just, uh, I, he, there's nothing else I can say. I think he literally just walked off. But nice 25 going out by Nashi on Antakuma, who was jockeying instant in cap onto him. That will actually set him black and white as he actually just jumped off the uh, sugar mills back inside of the first uh, factory building back there. So well played there by the SI, kind of uh, dogpiling onto Coach there and making the in cap happen. And it's going to definitely affect that damage bonus. Indeed, it will, dropping down to 28%. Health bonus at 3%, virtually nothing. Charger not finding anything. Boomer goes in and gets popped, though. And, yeah, it's going to be them in the safe room regardless. So they do get full distance. And the health bonus will sit at a 116. So well played by them thus far. And uh, that will put them up to a 2,884 uh, score here for round three. And uh, Team Exception has a long road ahead of them. Very long road. And now we'll be back to the ready-up screen, waiting for the teams to uh, get ready. Uh, who's winning so far? Um, team Talk 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 or Talk Three. They are definitely ahead as of right now. They are up by around 27. Was that 2768? I think 2768. That's my final answer, Trebek. But yeah. They're up by quite a bit, regardless. It looks like we are now live, so we'll be going live yet again with uh, this entry tank right out of the safe room. Jockey making his way in, and Smoker going for Coach's ball. Charger works his way in, looking for a charge on the one of the stars. Actually, just goes for a punch it instead. Spit goes down to top of the Alice. He's going to suck in that spit. Joseph dropping down to under 50 HP after that first hit, down to 45, in fact. And Smoker even grabbing a scratch on the coach. Very well played there by Team Attack 3. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coordination there that that charger and spit just did work they didn't even go for the charge though they literally just cornered him and uh, body blocked him for the most part and punched him he was like so focused on the charger and the charger just like corralled him up against the safe room door and then stood in front of him and the spit went down I was like well you can't go anywhere now 
but regardless to end up in the hands of M4 for Team Tac 3. Smoker who's on to Coach Jockey as well, dropping down in her shell. Nice double cap happening. Rock lands on the Coach as well. That's going to be a lot of damage, and they're not even clearing that Jockey yet. Rock goes out, latching on to her shell as well. Two survivors, three survivors down in the yellow after that first hit on tank. That's going to be at least the reset of pills popped if they want to stay faster. And indeed, they're going to just start popping. Dr. Sheep, Falcon, both popping. And uh, Joseph still taking quite a bit of damage here. So he's going to... Uh, be forced to be slow here until he actually wants to take that set bills. Hunter on top of the gas station roof now starting to pounce around. We have awake joined here. I don't know if that's awake awake, but nice double cap happening, triple cap happening actually, and Nick is nowhere close to actually being able to save him right now. That's the end cap on a coach. Hunter is on the brink of getting end cap as well. Indeed, that will be another one. Smoker pull on the coach is not cleared as of just yet. It is now killed off though. But what a hit there. Team Tack, this coordination. Tank might actually just drop in here on the coach. No, he's actually just going to delay the pickup. Going for a rock on the coach. Will not land it. But this is a this is definitely nothing else but a wipe. Rock going down on Nick. He's sticking the pickup, though. But Tank will drop down and gets a punch on him. He wasn't able to get the pickup, though. So that's a well-played move there by the Tank. Double move going on Stars as well as they were focused on the Tank. And this is definitely going to be a wipe. There's no other way this is going about. Jockey latching on to coach here. There's no way that Nick's going to be able to clear that. Unless the... No, it's actually in cap. And, uh, yeah. Nicking in the field here. Going to be another tank wipe by Team Tack Tack Tack. Nick gets his set of pills off, though. He's going to get punched back into the opening behind the tree. And uh, makes it back to the safe room where it all started. Another punch going on. And that will secure the wipe on the Team Exception. Team Talk 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 coordination is just insane. And uh, there's not much else that can be said about it. They have some amazing coordination. So let's see uh, what else they have in store here for us. They are at that 3K brink after three maps. So we have a distinct possibility of them making a 5K. But map 5 is really not worth much. Same with 4. So unless they finish with some huge health bonuses, which they already have in this game. I mean, map 1, they scored over 1,000. Um, so we'll see what they can make and do with here. And I just hit spectate like five times. I'm surprised it didn't kick me. This is really rough. Talk, talk, talk is doing work, to say the least. It's uh, refreshing to see. They are really good. <laughs> oh, God, Fig. I don't know if you're watching this, Fig, but I just read your message. <laughs> Oh, guys, if you're playing this tournament, please read the rules. <laughs> It'll tell you a lot of general stuff. Good lord. Regardless, though, we're going live here once again with the fourth map. Talk, talk, talk on the survivor side. And it looks like we're going to see the team exception sag over on the left side. Um, or at least with the big play here. Uh, Boomer, obviously one of the you know more commonly used locations. Hunter as well. Um, you know, staying close, a little further back. Reloading. But Hunter with that pre-spawn now, which also spawned up, I think? I hear, yeah, I do hear. And Rochelle just did a voice comm. But anyway, attack coming in. Charger does not connect there. Actually, was that insta-cleared? It was insta-cleared in zero seconds. What? I'm screenshotting that. But here we go with the Witch. Nick going for the crown here. Does actually get juked by the Witch. What a curve by her. And this might be a second hit. No, he grabs the second shot onto her. That was a really weird uh, curve there, by the way. She kind of, like, backed up and hit him. So there wasn't, really, there wasn't much that he could do about that. It's just the way that he positioned himself in the map and how she decided to react. But Boomer goes out onto Alice here. He, Boomer is safe by the alarm car, though. And actually, they kill off the Boomer regardless. That's aggressive. Um, that's smart, though, because Tank's going to spawn up pretty much right ahead of them in the alleyway here. So they don't really want to be taking this horde while the tank is up in play. And they're playing this very interestingly because if they moved anywhere close to that car, I'm pretty sure the tank will spawn. So they will play it safe. They're going to move out into the opening here and start taking down this horde. Not to jinx myself, but my internet. Oh, I jinxed myself. I, look, I go to make a comment about my internet and how it's been stable. And I look over and it drops to red. Freaking bitrate, man. There's nothing I can do about it. Another attack code looking to come in here though. Smoker, Boomer, Hunter, and a Charger. Nothing coming as of anything just yet. Charger now against Wayne. Smoker already dead though. 
And that's going to be the attack pretty much nullified there as the two main hitters got taken down. We're going to look for a spawn there over by the, the garage or the wooden logs. Not going to find anything, though. Oh, there's no rats. But there is tank up for in for exception in the hands of Joseph now, though. Nice charge out. Alice instantly cleared, though, there by the survivors of Tac Tac Tac. I want to get some POV of these guys. They have been very interesting, to say the least. Reload. Kiss me looks like a flamingo with a short. What? <laughs> a flamingo? Well, no, uh, D ping, it's not about my bitrate. It's literally just my connection like is going to crap. So even if I were to change my bitrate, it wouldn't affect anything. Because right now, my bitrate is like fluctuating between 3300 and 2100. So unless I lower the bitrate under 2100, it's still going to drop like this. Which 2100 is not really worth it. But regardless, Tank once again ends up in the hands of Joseph here. Getting pushed by the survivors, not finding anything as of just yet. Smoker looked for pulling one survivors. Trying to get a car hit with that Smoker, but uh, Smoker went in on a weird side of the dumpster. The opposite one of where the car and Tank were. But Charger as well is just going to get mowed into. Really, there's not much that this Tank can do here. He's going to go ahead and work his way around, looking for a car here. He might hit up on the roof looking for a coach hit. Not going to find it, though. It's going to go ahead and be hit too far to the left. And uh, he actually has two cars over here. Let's see if he can make something happen. Nothing as of just yet. And he's just getting mowed down. He's down to 3,200 HP. And he, this car's actually in a good position. Going ahead and back towards the survivors. He clips the tip of the roof, though. Or the ledge of it, I should say. Another car going in on the Nick. Not going to find it, though. The survivors playing this very well. Keeping uh, obtrusion or obstructions between themselves and the uh, hittables. And yeah, the Uzi is going to pick away. I'm not going to worry about it all that much. Alice does manage to barely evade that car, actually. But yeah, this tank not holding anything. And that's going to be the uh, tank over for exception. I got to figure out why my internet keeps going on like this. Hey, watch out! I, I actually, I wonder if it's my router. Because my router, no joke, is like seven or eight years old. It, it could very well be my router is just starting to die. Who knows? I'll have to look into it. But then again, it would affect all my internet, which it doesn't. It's just my Twitch connection. So I assume it's the routing. But regardless, Hunter uh, pouncing his way in. Charger getting obliterated and also passed up. Uh, they decide not to even kill him off, just let him, let him go ahead and despawn, but it's 210 HP, so he'll come back with uh, half of that missing HP back. Anyway, Smoker Pull here out of the tally. Charger and Ch Jockey, they'll both have to climb up the ladder, so they're not going to get anything. Jockey just passing around the wide open area, not going to find anything either. And that's going to be uh, pretty much almost a safe room here. For the survivors. They're going to take one more brief hit. It's probably going to be a, a three cap at this point. Or oh, three SI, I should say, not a three cap in specific. I don't even know what I was looking at with the camera there. I was like reading chat to see what you guys were saying. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so Tak Tak Tak, very, very dominating performance thus far in this game. Up to 3,200 points. Their health bonus post tank is just uh, humongous. It's up to a 718. 85.5% uh, of the health bonus is still intact here. So we'll see the attack a little ways away. And Smoker up by the alarm car, going to give them a little bit of protection here. Hunter jockey for the other two cappers with the spit. So if that spitter can spit on top of the Hunter, if the Hunter can even land as it's the beginning of all this. They, decided to, they actually decided to push that Smoker and shut down the SI to put it down to a two cap with spit. Very interesting choice here. A lot of teams would have probably just pushed past it or uh, just gone for the Hunter or, you know, baited it. But they decide to actually get aggressive and just kill off the smoker. You know, forget the alarm car. This is going to kill it and move. And 
that they will go ahead and obviously make the save from 1112 health bonus for that map or a total score i should say so that's that's gonna put them up what around 4k yeah they're four points short of 4k on map four so uh they're doing work to say the least Talk, talk, talk. Very, very strong. That's why I want to see how they play up against, uh, you know, some higher up NA teams. Because I, I, honestly, I don't really know Team Exception all that well. I haven't really seen their players play or played with them personally, so I can't vouch for them or anything or how good they are. Um, but I would love to see them play like a good mid upper team, uh, even an upper team, because I think that they are extremely strong. Uh, team Talk, talk, talk. And it looks like we're going to be live here with the second half of Matt Four. Boomer going out initially, landing under a shell. Going to keep him in the safe room a little bit longer. Boomer waddling his way up into the safe room. Going to have Proxy on top of everybody. That's going to be a freaking horde. And that's going to cause a lot of problems here for the survivors. Smoker does get to pull out onto Dallas. He's going to get punched in the face. Nick gets punched as well. So two punches going out. Joseph taking a lot of damage. Hunter going for a little bit of a ledge pounce. He actually pulled off the ledge slide. That's a rarity. Hunter going for another pound, so not going to find anything. Gets actually shut down. Or he actually does, he actually does land, but it gets cleared off relatively quickly. And they're gonna, looks like they're going to go for the witch now. I don't know who's going to go for it. It looks like it might be Nick. Spitter actually scratched, and the witch is going to cause an instantly get up. Spit goes on top of, out, uh, on top of it as well, and that's going to be in cap out onto Nick. Double bull going out, and talk, talk, talk. Just having the perfect rotation here with the SI and the spawn timers, keeping something up for the witch at all times. And so that's going to cause a little bit of a hassle here for Dr. Sheep as he is now on his back. Going to have to get picked up. Smoker going in, gets a pawn out. Let's just Charger goes in, look for Charger on the coach. will find it as well. It's a double cap happening. And there is another spawn S up now. That's being a hunter. Not going to be able to find the intercept of time. We gets to stumble on her shell, though, as she's looking for the clears. Ellis might actually get in captain. DD does right in front of the survivor. Spit goes on top of him. And he might die off here. There's so much cord on top of him. Joseph is on the brink of losing here. Or dying, I should say. And, and, oh my god, one more SI. Oh my god. He has no HP. He literally, one more common punch would have killed him. That, th these hits from Tok Tok are insane. Another charger working his way. Gets one punch on Nick, gets another one, and uh, goes for the charger, but gets shut down there. What, uh, these hits. Good God. <laughs> Literally, like, the first hit didn't do much, but the Witch was just insane. And that was so close to the trap cap as well. If that Hunter was a second faster, he would have had the intercept. Nice double cap here, though, with the Jockey and Hunter, though. Bring Rochelle back into the garage here. Smoking upon a coach who was the closest survivor to getting that clear. So, beautiful intercept there by the Smoker. And that's going to be a lot of damage onto both of the remaining health bonuses. Nashion and Falcon both put down into the yellow. And there's no pills left. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they're going to do here with this tank. They just have to move. They have to push. There, there's really nothing they can do. And even though I've been trying to be passive with my casting, I'm still going to lose my voice. I can, I can hear it. And also my voice is just getting hoarse, pretty much. But beautiful car hit, almost latching on to Alice there. Tank up in the hands of Tali here for it. Uh, talk, talk, talk. Charger just gets stumbled. Charger actually goes in and stumbled uh, in caps Nick. It's so really um, unorthodox cap there. Um, but yeah, he did get the it regardless. Hunter, Charger obviously still up here for the rest of this tank. Tank gonna go ahead and make his way in towards Alice. Gonna pick him as his target. And Hunter will latch on to Coach. Tank doing work over onto Alice. Charger as well getting a helping hand in there. And Coach getting mauled by the Hunter will secure the ink app here. And that will be the end of Matt 4. Uh, <laughs> it, it is official. Team Taktok Tak has scored 10 times as much points as Team Exception in four maps. And they're going to be going for more. Hey, there's nothing I can do um, for uh, Grandma. I'm sorry. Grandma's yelling at me. For you guys wondering, Grandma is an actual player, not not my actual grandma. Let's go. Grandma is an actual Almost player. Yes. Where are we supposed to sing on that? If we fire up the burger tank signs, you might see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna look into getting. No. You. Mm. If it is actually the routing to Twitch, I could probably talk to them. I think they could help me with that. It's definitely something to Twitch, though. Like, my ping isn't changing. Nothing else is being affected. It's just Twitch. So, I have a feeling that this fire burnt the primary routing to Twitch for me, or whatever server. And uh, there's some sort of hop that I normally take that isn't there anymore because of the connection. And it's just, like, breaking out after a while. Just spray some Old Spice on your Ethernet cord? No. I use Axe. I was never a fan of Old Spice. I'm, why are we talking about deodorants? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can talk to Twitch about it. They've helped me with routing stuff in the past, so... Pretty sure we can get this resolved at some point, but regardless, the team talk 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 making the way out of the safe room though. It's Sarge Smoker going in for two stars outside. Smoker is the only one that is able to land though. Hunter working his way now, looking for a pounce, not gonna find anything though. Uh, actually came out of the crash animation, probably went to go for a scratch instead. Rochelle shooting the alarm car, but that's a very uh, basic meta nowadays. You can pretty much take that alarm car horde with this uh, actual crescendo horde, and it really has no effect on it at all. So. Pretty normal stuff. They will go ahead and set off the alarm, I believe, or the sign. Indeed, it is spinning now and the lights are on. So, the final event is live. Let's see what uh, they can make happen here. So, it's time to talk, talk, talk in a very interesting position as well. They have Ellis actually up on top of the generator on one of the little invisible pegs. Um, I actually haven't, had, I haven't seen a team actually put Ellis up there in the tournament just yet. But, yeah, that's a very interesting spot. It keeps you off the ground. But pull goes on to Alice. It also makes for that because every smoker just wants to play, but it's an easy clear. Hunter works his way in, not finding anything just yet. Unable to land, though, as well. Gets shut down by Nick and his trusty shotgun. Spit goes down top of nothing. Boomer lands on the coach. So a little bit of delay horde here. Going to extend the crescendo a little bit longer. Um, for these guys that do not know, for every boomer that lands, it kind of extends the horde and the event a little bit longer and uh, delays the progression. So... It is good to land the boomers here. It's not like they do absolutely nothing because you already have Lord. Um, it does, obviously, once again, allow more time for you to get more hits, uh, more SI up, more damage, obviously. That boomer, though, stood no chance. Popped in 1.5 seconds by team or by Caesar. And tank is up now. And there's only one tank for this crescendo as well. So every uh, point of damage matters. And it's going to be up in the hands of Dr. Sheep. He had a pretty nice tank. Um, in the previous maps, so we'll see what he can make happen with this one. Takes 14 chip there by the Uzi of Coach as he gets pushed. And let's see what he can uh, do here. I don't believe so. Well, Sarah's have to know where he is because obviously Doctor or uh, he just got pushed by Nick or Coach. I mean, so they do know where he is. They go ahead and rotate. And they're going to go ahead and push away. And with this tank actually not wasting any time. Sarves instantly dropping off of the roof, though. It looks like they're going to go and try to, to pin Nick on top of the roof. They do actually manage to get it. They climb back on top of the roof as well. Team Tuck Tuck Tuck. And they're going to go ahead and try and help out Nick. They actually, at one punch, I'm jockey take him down off of the roof here on the little ledge of the, or other side of the roof. It's Curve Rock going out. Not going to find anything. Dr. Sheep, though, not able to hit anything either, though. Just getting circled here. Beautiful car. Oh, no. He missed the car. No. <laughs> Dr. Sheep. Oh, I feel so bad for him. That car barely missing. <laughs> or no, it wasn't even the car barely missed. He barely missed the car. I, I, maybe that was a, so maybe there's something from the ping. That, that, that was just really unfortunate though. He, he by all means, that should have been in cap on your shell, but he just didn't get the back on or the, uh, pretty much the full range that you normally get with the punch. Cause if you, for you guys that don't know, if you actually put your back up to a car with tank and uh, punch, you'll hit the car regardless, even if your back's to it. So it's just a little trick that a lot of players use. Nice melee skeet there, though, by M4 coming out onto Dr. Sheep. But, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, he didn't get really get the back side punch. So, unfortunate for him. That was really unfortunate, though. And so we'll see a little bit of a horde coming out here. They should be coming up on the boat here relatively soon. I believe it's only a 400 distance map now. And they are at 304. That was a big jump that just took place. So the boat should be on its way here. 
after this next horde, I think. It's really it, it's hard to judge nowadays because of you know everything's put or everything's been halved. But smoke pool going out to smoke. I think this is the boat. Tell me I'm not lying. No, it is boat. Okay, I'm not a liar. Reload. And so Team Tactical Attack will move the way through the map yet again to their final destination, that being a boat. So everyone knows that you want to be on a boat in the middle of the apocalypse because zombies cannot swim. They're going to go ahead and make their way into the boat here. SI won't even have time to get spawns and time to get over into everything. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the game or end of the round here at least. That's a huge health bonus. I think they just 5K'd it. I'm not, I don't want to check, but I'm pretty sure that's a 5K. Yeah, they just 5 k <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Team Talk 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 pulling a 5,064 score on the first game to the 387 of Team Exception. I mean, Team Exception still have to play their round, but as it stands, Team Talk 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 is coming up on... What is it? Almost... If, if they get another 1,000 points, they will have... 20 times the score that team Talk 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 has. If they hit, I mean, they're not going to hit 6K in this game, but if they hit 6K, like in the next game after this, the home game, then, li then literally that's, a, they'll have 20 times the score that Team Exception has. That's pretty nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Deeping and grandma. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you guys are making some really bad puns. Anyway, Boomer goes in on the survivors, not finding anything just yet. And actually doesn't find anything at all. Hunter gang ski out there, jockey or I mean charge organ playing gets melee down there though. Beautiful level. And yeah, that's going to be the entire attack up and over with Team Tech Tech not finding much. And they're not going to actually trigger the alarm car. Except just keep moving the way forward. Um, I mean, you can avoid the car. If you shoot the car from up here on the roof, well, Nick actually goes in and shoots it now. But if you were on this roof and you were shooting towards the car, you wouldn't alarm it because you're out of the range to trigger the alarm at that point. But it looks like they do actually decide to do, uh, you know, trigger it now. Which is good, because if, if for whatever reason a tank or smoker charges you over there, or punches you over there, or even a charger charges you over towards the car, then you obviously do stand the chance of uh, actually uh, hit, triggering it. But beautiful attack down there. Hunter and Smoker working together along with the spit to just dog pile on to Ellis. He got pulled. Hunter was scratching him. A spitter spit down top of it. And that's going to be a lot of damage out onto him. Uh, the sign is triggered, so, and there is also a double boom out. I hate you, bit rate. Um, is this bad? Serious question, does this happen often? Um, scores like this are somewhat rare. Um, I mean, normally you'll still have the lower team or the, the losing team hitting like 800, 900, 1,000. Um, but this is just like dominance. Beautiful double cap happenings. Uh, Spit goes down top of the charge. Hunter also landing on the one survivors as well. Boom lands on the coach. It's like nothing here is being touched by Team uh, Exception. I mean, given they are lagging extremely hard here. Well, not extremely hard. Uh, one of the players has like a 340 ping, which is over the brink. Anything over 300 is like unplayable. But they do have two players that, or three players that are in the 200 range. So I, I do think that it's not bad, bad, but whoever has, you know, and this is going to be a doozy. I have a feeling this is going to be another wipe. They're, gonna, they're going five for five, to say the least. Tank up in the head, hands of M4. Very well-known player in the community. He has, uh, he's been playing for like four years, I want to say. He has, uh, he has quite the history. Very, very good player. And he's gonna start working with these hitables, trying to make something happen here. Taking a bit of chip though, down at 600 HP already thus far. Double boom happening. Rochelle actually backing up and now, and that car barely actually does connect onto Rochelle. I thought that was completely whiff her, but it does end up connecting. I think even M4 was taken back by that one. Four years, I want to say. He has a uh, he has quite the history. Very very good player. 
And he's going to start working with these hitables, trying to make something happen here. Taking a bit of chip, though. Down at 600 HP already thus far. Double boom happening. Rochelle actually back up and now, and that car barely actually does connect onto Rochelle. I thought that was completely whiff her, but it does end up connecting. I think even M4 was taken back by that one. But, or, or Charger does land on the other side over there, over in the corner. That's going to be Incap going out to Coach here in a second. Deed it is. Rock going up, going to miss. Nice juke there by Nick. And they, yeah, this is going to be another wipe. This, this will be the kill on Rochelle. Actually, she died off by the common. Car goes up on the roof. Not going to find anybody. Another car hit, hit way up, but ricochets off the sign and goes towards the front of the restaurant. Uh, M4 making a makeshift ladder up to the top of the roof for himself. And yeah, they're going to start gonna make the way after it. Charger latching on to Alice, bringing him up into the fence. Nick. Nick's on the edge. He jumps off. <laughs> oh, and that's going to be a GG. So, basically, end score is a round 10 times the score of Team uh, Exception. Um, yes, I voted no. But, very well played game there by Team Talk Talk Talk. Um, I believe we are going to the uh, home server now for Team uh, Exception. Unless they GG'd out of it. I don't know if they're going to still play it. And it actually looks like we're switching.